What's up with it, YouTube? How everybody doing today on this Thursday? Oh, something interesting I found on YouTube. Some Australians got killed on their holiday, two week, two week vacation. It happened uh, in July. Two Australians and a Filipina killed in a Philippine hotel, officials say. A man walks outside the Lake Hotel in Tagate City, south of Manila, Philippines, on Thursday, July 11, 2024. Two Australian nationals and a Filipina companion were killed at the Lake Hotel, and police efforts were underway to identify and track down suspects. Takatai, Philippines. Two Australian nationals and their Filipino companion were killed in a hotel in a popular resort city south of the Philippine capital, Manila. And police were trying to identify and track down the suspects, officials said Thursday. A hotel worker found the bodies of the victims, whose hands and feet were tied, in a room at the Lake Hotel in Takatai City on Wednesday, according to police statements. The Australian male victim's throat was slit with a sharp object that may have caused his death, while the two women apparently may have been suffocated using a pillow. Takatai Police Chief Charles David Coppenquan told the Associated Press ongoing autopsies would verify those indications, he said. Coppenquan said the motive for the killings was not immediately clear and added some valuables of the victims including their cell phones were not taken by the suspects we were shocked by this incident Tagatai, but they did take the man's wallet we were shocked by this incident Tagatai mayor abram to tola tolentino said apologizing to the families of the victims we're very sorry to our australian friends we will resolve this as soon as possible The victims were believed to be a man in his 50s from Australia. His Philippine-born partner, who had acquired Australian citizenship, and her Filipino relative. Investigators were interviewing witnesses and examining security cameras at the hotel, including one footage that showed a man wearing a mask and a hoodie and carrying a sling bag who walked out of the victim's room a few hours before their bodies were discovered. Kappa, Kappa, Book one said, This vehicle passes outside the Lake Hotel in Tagatai City, south of Manila, Philippines, on Thursday, July 11, 2024. So I think this happened July 11. Two Australian nationals and a Filipino companion were killed at the Lake Hotel. A Filipino relative of the Australian woman told the AP that the Australian couple flew from Sydney to Indonesian resort island of Bali for a vacation that headed to the Philippines, money to visit her two children from a previous marriage in the country. The Australian couple was supposed to fly back to Australia Wednesday, the day they were killed, but decided to briefly take a vacation in Tagatai, said the relative, who who asked not to be identified for security reasons. Tagatai, about 60 kilometers, 37 miles south of Manila, is popular, uh, popular among local and foreign tourists who flock there for its cool weather and to view one of the world's smallest active volcanoes nestled in the middle of the lake. Tolentino told the AP that the remains of the Australian man would be flown back to Sydney and the two women would be buried in the Philippines as requested by their relatives. The government would pay the woman's funeral and burial, he said. The women's funeral and burial, he said. A security person tries to block a photographer from taking pictures outside the Lake Hotel in Takatai City, south of Manila, Philippines, on Thursday, July 11, 2024. 
Two Australian nationals and a Filipino companion were killed at the Lake Hotel. In Australia, a spokesman for the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade said it is providing consular assistance to the families of the two Australians and expressed condolences to their families. No other details were provided owing to our privacy obligations, the spokesperson said. So, folks, Australian, his Filipino wife, and his Filipino wife's daughter-in-law were at a hotel in Manila. Somebody got in there. I got some videos that I'm going to connect, have at the end of this so that you can see where they say. They say the guy came in the window, but they had a hotel they must have been they must have been licking up and tired as hell. They didn't hear that man coming in that wonder. Or maybe he came in the wonder they were scared. I don't know. But they say they think he came in the wonder and then he the CCT CCT camera, CCV or whatever however you the damn camera caught the man coming out the room coming uh out of a different room. They seen the man covering his face up coming out later. Now, when you in a hotel room, uh, if they got a chain on the door, put the chain on the door. You know, there are things that you can buy at the stores, at a store to uh, add extra security to your hotel room door. I recommend getting one. Now, uh, they say, they think, whoever came in there and killed him was linked to the third victim, his wife's daughter-in-law. That's what they say they think. That's what they thought. But come to find out, they say, it was a disgruntled, old disgruntled employee that came in there and slit their throat. That's what they say. Came in the room and slit their throat. So, I got that video too on there where they say that. It's going to be on the end where the guy's walking around in and out the room or whatnot. Now, I, we got in there whether he came in through the window or through the door. I don't know. Yeah, buy you a, a lock. If you're at a hotel, put your lock on 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 your, on the door. You can buy extra security locks. It kind of goes on the deadbolt. You can lock the, buy you a lock that will lock the door from the inside. It kind of wedges between the door and the door frame, and it'll lock it. You know, to where can't nobody get in, or even wedge you a chair under the door. Or put you some wedges on the bottom. Buy your security lock, extra security lock, to put on your door in your room, and uh, get you some bells. Hell, there are stores all around Manila, in the mall. They sell machetes in the mall. Buy your machete when you go to your hotel. Tote that, tote that machete in plain view to your room. Uh, you know, so everybody say, hey, you got damn, you got a damn machete here. Put your extra lock on your room. You traveling, you visiting, or whatnot. You know, they didn't take the jury, but they took the man's wallet. I wonder, did somebody see this man's wallet was loaded or something? Don't know what happened, but that's a damn shame. What happened to them? He. Don't never let nobody tie you up. See, they thought they were going to get tied up and robbed. But they got tied up, robbed, and killed. Don't let nobody tie you up. Fight. Shit. You know. Don't let them tie you up. Fight. If you're in your room, put the lock on your room. When I was in uh, Calipan City 
at a townhouse, three bedroom townhouse, the master bedroom, which had a uh, hot tub in it. The master bedroom had a dead boat on it. We locked that fucking dead boat on that room. So if anybody tried to come in that in that in that townhouse, they couldn't get in that room where we was because we had a dead boat on it. Unless they tried to come through the room through the window, and if they tried to come through the window, they was gonna get chopped up like legion. Philippine sell machetes everywhere. You go into the mall; they have appliance stores and stuff. You walk around Philippines, you shit, you'll find somebody selling a machete. Buy them your machete, take it to your damn room. Sure, it have it in plain view, so so mofo's can see it. You know, so the guy turned himself in. So that's good. They say it was a disgruntled employee. The wallet must have been in plain view. Hell, he didn't get no cell phones or nothing. Shit, the boy. I don't know how did he get the wallet. They say he got the wallet, but he didn't get cell phones or nothing else. If you're going tricking up in Angeles cities, I've said before, get two rooms. The rooms is cheap. You can get a room $20, $25. You know what I'm talking about? Get your room and then get your room to trick in. Hell, get your girl, take her up there to the room. Well, condoms. It's not quite as dangerous getting a blowjob. But if you're going to if you're going to dip up into that old thing, put your condom on. If you're going to dip down off off into it. Front or back, whatever you're dipping into, put your condom on. Uh, blow job is uh, you, you, you can't catch that ninja. I don't think you can get nothing dead deadly from a blow job or whatnot. You know, I don't know. Everything else, wear your condom. Help. Be careful. Do what you're going to do. Don't shortchange them. Don't piss nobody off. I wouldn't stay in one location more than a week. And I'd move around. I, I mean, I'd move way around. At least 10, 20 miles around. I stay I stay in Manila. Shit, then I go to Batangas. Then I go to Cebu. Then I go, go to uh, Port Mindoro. I, I be moving around. You know what I'm talking about? Don't stay in one place too long because you take too much notice. People see all them women rolling in and out. They're going to say, oh, he got money. And then somebody might get mad you got the women rolling in and out your room or whatnot, you know. So you got to be careful. They say you have to be careful when you're dealing with the girls in the city of angels. They say be careful with those women. Don't take any drinks from anybody. Don't go to a strange girl's house. They give you something to put you to sleep. Stay in the tourist spots where you see all the other expats going. You'd probably be okay. This is in south of Manila. Towards Batangas. You got to be careful at these hotels. Keep your head on a 360. I don't know if I'd go to this hotel right here. I wouldn't go to this. I wouldn't stay at this hotel. The Lake Hotel. Shit, if I ever see that hotel, if I ever see that hotel, I'm going to tell cab, cab driver to keep moving. But they say it was a disgruntled employee. Okay, folks, here's the video about the guy uh, who turned himself in. The family of an Australian man murdered in his hotel room was alongside his wife and daughter-in-law in the Philippines say they are struggling to understand how anyone could be so cruel and in hurting innocent people. Local officials confirmed on Wednesday that a man handed himself in to police after the bodies of David Jane Fisk, 57, and his wife, Lucida Baquen Cortez, 55, were found dead inside their lake hotel room 
in Tagatai, south of Manila, on Wednesday last week. A third person reported to be Miss Cortez's daughter-in-law, Mary Jane Cortez, 30, was also found dead in with the couple. It is understood the man accused of killing the trio was a former employee of the hotel who wanted to get back at the hotel management. Miss Fisk's daughters, Lucinda and Brittany Fisk, said they have been afraid and confused ever since learning their father had been killed. We have been living and continuing to live a nightmare until any of this makes sense, Lucinda told Nine News. For someone to take our father away from us so cruelly, it just doesn't make sense. We won't, we won't stop fighting until we find out why, and we won't stop fighting until we have justice for our father and Lucita. Brittany said she hoped nobody else will ever have to go through the nightmare her family are enduring. I am angry, I am really angry, and I'm scared. I don't want this to happen to anyone else, she said. A hotel worker found the victim's bodies with their hands and feet bound and packaging tape covering their mouths on Wednesday last week, according to police statement. If they bust up in there and want to tape you up, fight. He had to get rid of all witnesses. The daughter-in-law, he had to get rid of all witnesses. At first, they thought the daughter-in-law might have knew him. That's why they killed him. But they say it was a hotel employee. Maybe daughter-in-law knew the ex-hotel employee. I don't know. Tagatai police. Well, he could recognize him anyway. That's why he killed him. Tagatai police chief lieutenant Colonel Charles David Kapai Quinn said the suspect had handed himself into police. The man reportedly used to work as a swimming pool cleaner at the hotel where the bodies of the Australian couple and Miss Cortez were found. Mr. Capacoing told reporters at a press conference on Wednesday. Spoken again with the police chief here and he was keen to stress that police are doing everything within their power to bring this case to a head and solve it and find this man. I can assure you that uh, as you see, the guy is generally peaceful, generally safely Safe, uh, safe, and uh, you can see not only local tourists but also international foreign tourists around, roaming around. But he wouldn't be drawn on a series of questions, including the last known whereabouts of the killer, whether they believe that he is still in this area, any other leads that they're pursuing, or any possible connections between the killer and the victims. No doubt these are all questions that the family wants answered as they continue their desperate fight for justice. But his, fa his walk is casual, but his face is covered. His identity still a mystery. Murdering Sydney couple David Fisk and Lucida Cortez, as well as daughter-in-law Mary Jane Cortez at the upmarket Lake Hotel in Tagatay, south of Manila. We are uh, still investigating and that. Ang isa lang ang mga possible entrance. Local police now suspect the killer entered their room through a window, briefly walking into the hall at 1 a.m. He wasn't seen again until 6 that morning. The victims found tied up with electrical cord and shoelaces, their mouths covered with tape. No jewelry or mobile phones were stolen, but David's wallet was missing. Police say the 57-year-old Pentehurst man suffered a wound to his neck, investigating whether this broken glass was the murder weapon. Officers say Lucita and her daughter-in-law, Mary Jane, died from suffocation. They're heartbroken. You mean to tell me this man entered through a window and nobody in there? Woke up, they had a... This is a hotel room, not an Airbnb house. But the okay, I don't know. Son and husband telling the Sydney Morning Herald he hopes the killer surrenders and that justice prevails because four children were left without their mother. We have offered whatever assistance is required uh, to uh, the Filipino authorities. We work very closely with them. The safety of the tourism hotspot also in the spotlight. So, a wake up call again after 
how many decades of no no incident like this still many unanswered questions including why the family was targeted police aren't ruling out robbery Adelaide Bolsh, nine news for David Fisk and Lucita Cortez, the Philippines was meant to be their home away from home. Their bodies found bound and beaten in their luxury hotel room alongside Lucita's daughter-in-law. Found of the lifeless body of the victim inside the room, uh, tied with the electric uh, wire on their hand and feet. David, a 57-year-old software executive from Penshurst in Sydney's south, and the women were staying at the Lake Hotel in Tagatay, 90 minutes south of Manila, cleaning staff, discovering them on Wednesday afternoon. We will try our very best to resolve this uh, early. We're very sorry to the, our Australian friends. Uh. Local police have a suspect. This man captured on CCTV hiding his face entering a hotel room earlier in the morning with a key card. We are on the process of backtracking on the stall CCTV inside the hotel in the nearby places. It's believed the killer could be linked to the third victim, Mary Jane Cortez. Uh, we're looking on that option, on that uh, issue. Back in Australia, David's family released this statement. The love we have for our father and Lucita is so dear and this situation is like living a nightmare. We pray for answers and the truth in this horrific matter. Friends and neighbours in Penshurst are shattered. For me, it's a really good couple, very funny. They always laugh at yeah, me because I'm always joke to them. It is a very painful to me, you know, when you just told me, shock, oh, this is what, this is people I see. Them. The couple were due to return from their two week holiday tomorrow David was preparing to walk his daughter Lucinda down the aisle next month. James Wilson, Nine News.